Welcome back to another How To by myself, Rob Allen. Today I'm going to show you weight belts. The most common belt used these days is an elasticated rubber belt with a large stainless steel buckle. Most see this not as a quick release style, but in fact it is very easy to use and is a quick release. Some will see the pin as in the incorrect position. It's actually designed like that. So once engaged, under tension, locks up. When you release, the pin stays vertical. This prevents it from re-engaging any of the holes in the belt. The holes themselves are slightly smaller than the pin. So to engage, you have to apply some pressure, but once released, very, very difficult to re-engage. The fact that it has stretch, this helps to compensate for you whilst on a dive. During the dive, your suit will compress and a non-stretch belt will become loose at depth and then tighten up when you return to the surface. This style has many types of weights. We can set small domed weights. These weights can be slid into position and then you tap the rear of the weight to lock it in position. You can also use the conventional three bar weight, more common in scuba. They are locked in position just by the grip of the belt rubber. Disadvantage of this style of weight, especially for those who use thick five six seven more suits is you need a lot more weights this specific weight is only one kilo it'll take up the same space as these two smaller dome weights but these will weigh in at 1.6 kilos so you can have greater mass over a short distance if you do utilize this style of weight because you're weaving the belt through it does consume more belt for very thick suits and the larger gentleman out there, the total length would be too short. We can join this by joining a second belt. All you do, remove the screws. Release the clamp. Remove the buckle. We have a three bar buckle with a domed nut in the middle set that over one of the holes and then simply rebuckle the second belt into position You then trim off the excess and there you have the join in the middle. We also have drop weights. This is to be able to adjust your weight more precisely. If you're diving off a boat, disconnect for deep dives, pass it back to the boat. Literally whilst wearing the belt, you can attach and or remove these weights. Very easy to put on and take off. Along with our gun reel, we now have a belt reel that will slot in between the weights. To keep it in position, same as the drop weight, it simply slots on with a bungee. Once in position, set the belt, and there sits your belt reel. Easy to access, controlling the drag. Currently it's set up on my left side, 
with a minor change of the bungee, we can set it to the right side. If you need to re remove the reel, hold the top hole, pop the b bottom, pull out, there it is released. You can now clip a long line clip either through one of the holes or onto the line itself. One of the other advantages with the rubber belt, the tab sticking out the buckle is easy to find, not like a small stainless steel buckle where you battle to find the latch. This is in front. You can trim this shorter, but it's something easy to grab and it's one pop, let go. Some guys also like an attachment for lanyards, clipping on GoPro cameras, simple three bar buckle with an eye, enables you to set up in position to clip on to. Some guys like to drop the whole belt, clip on to that with a, your float line and leave the weight belt on the bottom. For those who have a problem with weight belts sliding up the hips, we have a jock strap that's fully adjustable. The three bar buckle. That sets into the middle of the back and you have a loop at the front and a buckle. The buckle enables you to adjust the length custom to your fit. You set the loop over the belt tang. When in position, it will tension on the belt tang, won't come off as a quick release once that is popped, so will it drop the belt loop. Easy to take off, stretch the belt into the H shape. And that was another how to on belts by myself, Rob Allen. I own, I own.